Welcome to this video tutorial for Stock Investor Pro, AAII's fundamental stock screening and research database program. In this video segment, I will discuss combining two expressions in one custom field. In this video, I calculate a custom field that adds together cash and short-term investments for the latest fiscal quarter and divides the sum by the number of average shares outstanding. However, many companies do not report short-term investments or cash separately on the balance sheet, and some do not have these items. If a company reports a null value for either one or both of these fields, the entire custom field will return null. To get around this, I will create a custom field that substitutes zero for a null value. This will allow us to create useful custom fields even if a company reports a null value for a data point that is included in the custom field. To create this custom field, first open up the custom field editor by clicking on the icon uh, in the toolbar. There are many calculations taking place in this custom field. First, we have to identify whether the cash or short-term investment fields have null values. If either of them do, we have to tell the custom field editor to return a zero value. Otherwise, we must have the custom field editor return the actual field values. We then sum the data fields together and divide by the total number of shares outstanding. First, we verify whether cash Q1 is a null value by using the is field null expression. Select the expression from the drop-down menu and click Add Function. Next, make sure that the cursor is positioned between the parentheses in the function. Then scroll down to the list of data categories, expand balance sheet quarterly, and select cash Q1. We want to create a function that, re that will return a zero value if cash Q1 is null, or return the actual cash amount if the field is not null. This involves using the IF expression. Position the cursor before the isField null expression and select the IIF function from the pull down menu and click Add Function. The isField null expression we just created needs to be inside the IIF parentheses. So delete the parentheses following IIF and then enclose isField null with another set of parentheses. Be sure to do this correctly, or else the formula will come back as invalid. The isField null expression returns a zero value if that field is null. Therefore, the next step is to set the isField null expression to z zero by adding equals zero after the cash Q1 data field. The second element in the expression is the value to be returned if the field is null. Therefore, we add comma zero. After entering the second zero, the custom field editor is in essence checking to see if the value for cash in Q1 is null. If it is null, the custom field editor will return a zero value. Lastly, we want to specify what the value should be if the data point is not null. I will enter in comma and then cash Q1 to the end of the expression, which once again can be found in the balance sheet quarterly category. The first section of the custom field is now complete. It is going through and asking whether the cash in Q1 is a null value. If it is, it will return, it will return a zero. If it is not, it will return the data field. I now want to do the same process for short-term investments and add them together. The easiest way to do this is to simply put an addition sign and copy and paste the first element. I will go through and change wherever cash Q1 comes up and replace it with short-term investments Q1. Make sure you delete cash Q1 and then enter short-term investment Q1, which is also found in balance sheet quarterly. After finishing, I want to put these, this entire expression in parentheses and then divide it by shares outstanding average Q1, which can, be in, which can be found in the price and share statistics category. I put parentheses around the first two expressions because I want the elements to be added together first before dividing by 
shares outstanding. After finishing this expression, I can click on Verify to see whether the custom field that I just created is valid. If it is, I can go ahead and save it. I will save this as cash plus short-term investments. After saving it, Stock Investor Pro will ask me whether I want to calculate the custom field. Click on Yes here. You can now pull up this new custom field that you created at any time. As an example, I will go ahead and open up the screen editor. The, the newly created custom field is in the custom field category. For additional Stock Investor Pro resources, please visit our website or our wiki. You can also email us or give us a call.